If you're using Ecamm Live on the go on your laptop, but wish you had an extra screen for doing screen demonstrations, then I've got a solution for you that will cost less than $10. Hello, welcome to Take One Tech. My name's Alex. So today we're talking about Ecamm Live and specifically if you're using Ecamm Live on a MacBook single monitor setup on the go or even if you're using single monitor setup at home and you want to be able to do screen demos and there are screen demonstration features built into Ecamm Live and they do a reasonable job for if you are using a single display but sometimes personally I felt like I needed that extra display just to use specifically for screen demo purposes. Perhaps it's easier if I just show you what I'm talking about. So if I go over and say share my uh, my whole screen but I'm going to do this on uh, demo mo the demo mode that's built into Ecamm Live so that you can sort of see what I'm seeing and you can see the uh, slight issue that I'm trying to resolve. Okay so here we are in Ecamm Live this is now what I'm seeing I've got all of my different palettes around here but I want to say share this uh, particular page here take that one out I want to share the Ecamm Live website for example. So how do we do that in Ecamm Live? Well, as I say, there are some features built in to specifically for screen sharing. So if I go to scene, scene, uh, create new empty scene, and then I have the source is a screen share. So there we go. I've got it. I've got the particular window that I want to share with you. But this is quite not what I'm trying to achieve for a couple of reasons. Now first of all let me just show you in the uh, Ecamm Live thing. I'll just take this picture and picture out. So what you'll notice is it's not actually sharing my full screen. It's sharing the current application. And if I move the current application um, around on the screen what you'll notice is that Ecamm Live is very clever that it does actually just sort of follow it around and this window in the background is the output so you can see there if I just quickly take it out of demo mode you can see the output that the viewer would see if I go back into demo mode what it's doing is it is doing a great job of sort of like tracking this window and showing just that window okay so that is fine but I've got a lot of clutter behind it and I want to see more of the Ecamm Live interface but how would we do that well let's just say that I'm not using all of these panels so I could close down the comments panel I could maybe make this a bit smaller and look how Ecamm cleverly sort of finds just the application window that I want I could close this down but now let's say I want to go to the menu item so I want to Maybe I'm doing something a bit more advanced than just showing a website and I want to actually go to show people uh, something in the menu item. Well now if I move my mouse up to the menus and if you keep your eye on this preview window here what you'll notice is it does actually zoom out so that people can see the menu items that you are looking at but then the window has sort of scaled back and so it's a bit of a uh, funny way of doing it so that you then lose the scale of the window itself. So what I'm trying to replicate is a full sort of desktop view and ultimately what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get to something which looks a little bit like this. So if I just flick back to this a moment here is what I'm trying to achieve. I want a picture in picture and then I want a view of an entire desktop and so if I were to do the um, uh, screen sharing like this in Ecamm you can see what I've got here I've got this problem of it just duplicating the Ecamm interface well we can get around that in Ecamm as well because if I open up the preferences by clicking the little cogwheel here then what you'll see is uh, in fact let me just do uh, demo mode again what you'll see is in the screen sharing tab you can toggle this show everything when sharing the entire screen off and if you toggle that off then what you'll notice is now magically this being the preview all of the Ecamm Live interface has disappeared from the preview even though we can still see it and I can still see it okay so now I can move this uh, this web page around all over the Ecamm interface and it's completely unobstructed so if I want to do a sort of full screen demo I could bring that down here and if I just quickly flick back to 
the uh, out of demo mode a moment. Now, hopefully you can see that it's a full screen app. I've got all of the menu items up at the top. You can see my mouse and everything. But coming back into demo mode again, the problem with this is it's now blocked out all of my Ecamm interface. And so the problem, albeit maybe slightly a niche problem, <laughs> is that I would like to have the uh, window that I'm using for demo be completely separate from the uh, Ecamm window. Well, that sounds like something that would be impossible without having a second monitor. Well, the solution that I've got is this. It's simply a virtual monitor and I use these for headless Macs, headless machines. So for example, I have a Mac mini that I used as a uh, home server and so it doesn't have a monitor in it itself but rather it has one of these plugged into the back of it and what that allows me to do is then I can just sort of remote into the machine from anywhere it doesn't need to have a monitor on it but then I can do screen sharing over the internet and I can see it as if it was as if it did have a monitor. So that is what they're intended for, but by plugging those into uh, your Mac, what that does is, again, if I just bring up my uh, screen sharing again, uh, so I'll do demo mode again, and if you look in my displays, I've got my built-in Mac display, but then also if I go into the arrangement tab, now that I've plugged that into my laptop, that little small dongle, uh, now I've got this extra display over to this side. Now I can't see it, <laughs> it's not there, it's a virtual uh, display, but what that means is that I can then go into uh, my virtual screen setup, so I'll just go into that one again, and now this one here is now sharing my virtual screen, so as I say, whatever's on this screen, I actually can't see it, I can only see it in this preview window, but what that allows me to do is I can move things over onto that virtual screen, and then I can use them on that screen just as I'm demoing them to you now. And so this is a great way of uh, demoing uh, virtual, uh, demoing software rather, on another screen without actually having to have that extra screen with you. And so just once again, I'll bring this window over from my other desktop. And now you can see it is should be in your preview window. So this is what it looks like. It is just a small little uh, HDMI cable or HDMI plug rather with no cable. And you just pop it into your machine and then your computer will recognize it as a uh, 4K HDMI monitor. And yet the price of it is less than $10. So price varies slightly, but uh, yeah, there you go. I think that is a great solution for uh, maybe if not your primary setup, but certainly if you're out on the road somewhere and you want to have that ability to uh, do screen demonstrations, then it's a great way around that. So I hope you found that useful. If you have found it useful, then please go ahead and give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so that you get notified whenever I post more videos. I will be doing a whole series on Ecamm Live. So this channel sort of obviously basically uh, based on tech reviews, software and things like that. But I'm obviously talking about the things that I'm using most at the time. And so, yeah, Ecamm Live is something that has featured quite heavily in my day-to-day -day work, uh, not just through producing these videos, but also with the video content that I'm producing for uh, some online course material that I'm producing. And also I use it in my daily meetings and Zoom calls and things like that. So as soon as I've created some more of those videos, I'll drop a link to the playlist for it up in the top corner. And in the meantime, uh, yeah, check out some of the other videos that I've already created. I'll look forward to seeing you in one of those soon. Have a great day. <laughs>